What's happening, everyone? Malt review time, baby. <laughs> time for um, another super unicorn museum piece type of review. I'm going to be doing a review from a distillery you don't hear very much of. Not one of necessarily the big names, but this is one of the best whiskeys. One of the very best whiskeys that's ever been bottled in RP. And this is a Tormor 1966 vintage bottled by Mr. Sam Maroli. Silvano, baby. So this is another legendary Sam Maroli bottling. Um, this was bottled in 1982. Phenomenal year. Making it a 16-year-old. Uh, and um, this is 57% ABV. This is bottle number 78. And as you guys can see from the color, it is very dark, rich mm. sherry. Mm. I'm trying to think of how many of these were bottled. I believe it's 720 of them. Do you remember? I'm, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I apologize that we don't have that part memorized, but I believe it's 720. I'll correct it in the comments if I'm wrong. For sure. But not many. And it, it is part of, as you can see, the Silver Cap Trilogy with the Lefroig 1967. Which we already reviewed. Yes, It's part of three bottles. It's that one, this one, and a um, Glen Grant. Right, Glen Grant 55. That was one of Silvano Samaroli's first mm -hmm. special releases. So, without further ado, we've been letting this breathe for over 30 minutes. 57% ABV, Samaroli bottling, 1966 vintage Tormor. What could be more exciting than that? Yes, sir. On the nose. Such a beast of a sherried whiskey. It's such oh, a beast. It's an old, it's an old monster. <laughs> It's got, you mentioned Springbank funk. This has some of that funk in there. It's very rusty, vinaigrette, musky, mustard, honey mustard, grassy. <sighs> Ultra fruity. Ultra, ultra fruity. Sweet pineapples and mangoes and peaches, those kind of fruits. But then you're also getting cooked down strawberries and raspberries, blackberries. You're getting honeydew melon, oranges, mandarins, sweet mandarins. And then the nutty element comes, walnuts, cashew butter. Oh, I get so much balsamica and then like toasted coconut. That most impressive part is that, that funk, that balsamico grassiness. Yeah. Mustard, like honey, like the rust, like the dirty, dirty rust. So what I, when we say rust, we mean you know how something starts rusting. It's almost like the sherry has been aging and like, it's like, rusting. Like the residue, the yeah. residue within the oak. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nutty. That's good. That's real funk. That's real funk. Yeah. Oh, that's nutty. It's spectacular. Oh. It's spectacular. It reminds me of some of those legendary. Spring banks. Absolutely. Does have a little mineral element, a touch of, almost like a touch, touch of peat element. Yep. Yeah, a little. But that's almost little, more like a grassy earthiness, right? Say, Rather yeah, than like a, it's, not like, it's not a rich, hardcore. Yeah. Iodine, like medicinal peat. It's 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 earthy right. and grassy and. Yeah, kind of grassy herbal floral, mm. like like uh, foraging. Reminds you of foraging. Lots of fresh herbs. Mm. Raisins, rum raisins, cinnamon. Mm. Oh, 
Wow, now this is a whiskey that definitely improves from air. Yep. This has been opened for a while and it is really improved with air. Guys, do not be afraid to leave bottles open at cask strength. When something is around 55% or higher, don't be scared. Now, if it comes down all the way down here, then you can maybe consider changing it, but don't be afraid when it's less than halfway and you've been leaving it open for a long time. Yes. I, I assure you, Let it breathe. It's, it's, it's not, it's not going to flatten out. No. If it's 40%, it can't, but not, not at 57%. Because, yeah, especially when we first opened this, it was just way too much alcohol. It was blocking so much of the flavor. Any alcohol. Yeah, now it's nothing. Yeah, and, and the flavors were there, but we were just, you know, the, the, the alcohol was also there. Right, or it, it took forever to, let, you know, pour it, let it open up. Yeah. Exactly. Spectacular. Masterpiece of sherry whiskey right here. Masterpiece. You have anything to add or you want to go palate? Oh, let's go palate. Unbelievable. It just it's almost better than words. Yeah. <laughs> oh. mm. That's intense. Mm. That's intense. It's rich. You feel oh. the alcohol oh. when it hits your palate, but it's not. Oh my God. It's not offensive. Yeah. It quickly goes away. That's the coolest part. ABV comes 57%, and within a second, oh my God. all the rich, mm. luscious sherry. Luscious, Sherry comes out. Oh, I let you know you're still alive, baby. All oh the candy, God. all the candied fruits, <laughs> but that rusty, musky, mm. mustardy, grassy, earthy, sweet. Oh my God. Candied and it's like candied rust. <laughs> and, and caramelly, oh oh cinnamony, God. delicious, rusty, funk sherry. Yeah. Wow. I, it's just, it's, it's what those old spring banks do yeah. and it's doing it in, in its own way. And it's also has that, that light peanut, the same amount as, as a spring bank. True. Medium. Yeah. It is a beast. And, and I think if they bottled this, let's say at 46%, you wouldn't get to know the beast it is. No, no, no. You wouldn't get to know a beast it is. And no. I don't, I don't want this necessarily aged anymore. I think it's just perfect. And that was, also, that was also the beauty of Silvano Samaroli. Unbelievable. Yeah, he, he had his standards and he would not go below that. Yeah, the, 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 fr the fruity element mm. also. Also the peaches and mangoes and apricots oh, and, the, and the pears and apples and it's orange and the oiliness and the nuttiness, the cashew butter, the mm. walnut. Oh, it's... It's true, it's like... Cinnamon spice, for sure, it. heavy, especially oh, with yeah. water, that cinnamon and, comes out and too. And clove and allspice. It's funny you say the funk, but it's like, it's like candied rust, like candied funk. It's like, it's almost like a new thing, it's nuts. But it really is, more than anything, especially with Silvano Samaroy's name on it, this highlights the beauty, the best of how they used to do the 60s sherry casks, like the best of the sherry casks. Whether it's Spring Bank or Torbjorn. It is very possible there's some different some, distilleries. Some, some Paxer, involved yeah. here, for sure. This is like a <laughs> uh, textbook. Yeah. With water on the nose, it just gets juicier. It gets very, very juicy. Oh, man. Extremely fruity, but less funky, less rusty sherry. True. Less of the grassy, musky, mustardy, vinaigrette element. Yeah, more sure. of the fruit, almost like juicy fruit, not like pineapples are coming out. Right. Yeah. Like very syrupy apricots, peaches. Yeah. Pineapples. Mangoes. Wow. Palette with water. Holy shit, this is complex, man. This is complex. This is the essence of the old school sherry casks. Wow.
to Solano. Oh. Wow. Wow. Mm. You know what it is? I think this is the first time I'm going to say this in a review. It is, normally it's like I have a preference with or without water. It changes with water in a way where it's equally good because it became such a fruit monster where I, it's actually a whiskey where I want half of it the way it is and then I want half of it with water because it changes in that sense. I don't know how to score this because I had a score in mind from last time I had it's it. like two different versions. I don't know how to score it. I mean, I do know how to score it. I'm gonna score it what I feel like it is today. It, and it's higher than, than what I had it before. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I'll, I'll finish this everlasting. This is a 95. I thought before the review I was gonna give this a 94. It never got to that 95 point for me, but it's at that 95 point. And I'm telling you, if we did half points, it might even be a 95.5. It is absolutely stunning. It is what? insane. And I apologize, one, one, one last thing. If we would have finished this bottle, let's say within six months time from open to finish, I would never have found that out. So, wow, I'm wrong. Wow. I knew it would happen. Just remember, yeah, every bottle's a journey and it just, it was, it was so alcoholic, but based on everything that I read about this bottle, before we tried it, I knew that eventually it might become what it, you know, what we thought it would become. And I give it the same thing, I give it 95 out of 100. Let's give the story on, 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 on what the story of this is. Well, before, before that story, do you know how much, this, how much does this go for at auction now? $10,000 more? The, la the last time I saw it, it was about $10,000. Yeah, yeah, I think it goes for about $10,000. So it's, it's no joke. It's, it's a legend, museum piece. Um, but the story behind this is, many years ago, Emmanuel, from the owner of the Old Alliance in Singapore, yeah. the best whiskey bar in the universe, literally he has everything. And he is kind of like, he is like a surge from whiskey fun. He doesn't do reviews, he owns a bar. He writes, he's written a book. And he's just a big time collector and he has a bar where he shares this beautiful collection and he's, you know, he's up there in the whiskey world. But we were very lucky to reach out to him many years ago and he was very cool to send us some samples. We paid for the samples, but he gave us a very, very good price. And one of the samples was this guy. And it blew our mind, so we had to seek out the bottle and get it. But when we opened the bottle, the alcohol felt harsher in the beginning than compared to the sample. Now we weren't sure what was going on there because we just had a small sample. But now, with air, Boom. it's gone there. So his bottle had obviously had air when he poured it and sent it to us. Yes. So it's one of those whiskeys that really, really does need the air. But wow, what a masterpiece this is. I'm gonna dream about this whiskey tonight. Yes, sir. Absolutely amazing. Highlight. Yeah. All right, you guys. I think we spent enough time with this dram. Um, we'll see you guys soon for many more reviews. Thank you for watching. Thank we'll you, guys. Soon. Cheers.